Hello, everybody. Big, big fight, headliner, main event. Uh, what's, what's the fight week feel for you like right now? It, fight week feels like always, nothing has changed. But I'm, of course, happy to be main event, and I wanted to be here. But, like, as always, weight cut, drinking a lot of water, that's all. Thinking about food, <laughs> Georgian food. <laughs> uh, we, I mean, we always think about, it. is there added pressure, is there added moment, does it feel like a different fight? You said it's just like every other fight week, but is it different or is it truly just another fight week? I will tell you what's really different. It's too much, not, I will not say too much, a lot of media, a lot of media, from, starting from yesterday. And that's definitely the difference between other fights. Is it make it hard? Because... Everybody wants to be at the top, right? And then they get the opportunities, and they have, and they realize all the responsibilities that come with it. Does it change? Do you start thinking, ah, maybe I don't want all this? No, of course not. It is, you know, there are a lot of things. Who knows me very good? They know how I'm thinking about MMA, what part is MMA in my life. But a lot of people doesn't know about it. But I accept the uh, uh, rules of the game. And this is part of the game. We need to do this. We do this for us, for our organization, to promote the fight, and I'm here to do it. What was this last year like for you, right? Like, not getting to compete and having opponents fall apart, and you were desperate to get matchups. I mean, what was, how challenging was it for you? Well, challenging, that may be a little bit disappointing, but still, it's, like I said, it's part and rules of the game. It's happening like that. I'm accepting it or not accepting it. I'm accepting it. It is how it is. Everything what destined to happen, it will happen. And um, that situation doesn't change me. But, like, of course I wanted to fight more. But UFC was offering me good fights, let's say that also. But opponents were pulling out. Nothing. I'm good. You're calm about it now. Were you calm about it as those things were happening? I mean, are you that understanding in the moment? Or do you get pissed off and upset and angry? Mm. I was thinking about time, what I'm losing, yes. About things, what I could do, because I have also a lot of things going on in my life and uh, I'm achieving other uh, sides uh, of my life. But, uh, you know, like I told you, I understand uh, what will change if I will be upset. What will change if I will be mad? Nothing will change. And I'll be mad. That will change. That's all. Nobody will care. Well, you finally got this fight. Uh, what was your thoughts when, when this was the name that was given to you and kind of what challenges, you know, he might present for you? Uh, when the, uh, you know, uh, when all this thing happened, uh, we start conversation about new fight. And uh, I had, I asked you, see, to change two things. Give me new contract. I didn't, it wasn't time for new contract, but still give me new contract and uh, main event. They gave me these two things, what I wanted, and I also was ready to fight anybody they knew, and that's all. Any, any changes in, in your training approach or any adjustments made because this is a main event, a five-round fight? Exactly, that fights what were, didn't happen. They, they changed my preparation, and I was preparing for fights for six months, and uh, of course, I'm in very good shape because I was training nonstop, and uh, I'm now here ready for five rounds. I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, everybody will say I'm in the best shape, but I really feel very good. Nice. I know you had a long time away, but you win this fight. I mean, you're right back at the top of the division and all, right? So, I mean, do you start calling out names again and asking for the big fights? Do you just sit back and see what happens? What's the plan? I'm always asking the good names, always. I just wanted to. I'm, I was, I'm number eight, and a lot of people around me, nobody wanted to fight. I don't understand why. Maybe some some guys were telling that he won. They wanted higher opponents after they were agreeing on number thirteen guys to fight. After there was situations like uh, somebody just didn't even hear the time saying that they were saying we want to fight December, and he didn't head up. And I said, okay, I want to fight also in December. Let's fight. And no answer, nothing. No, it's the, I'm I'm really very used that all these guys are most of them. I'm, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I will say in general, acting like a kids talking like a kids, talking a lot, talking and you know, in where I'm from, where I'm raised, we th think twice before we say something. Because your words need to have a 
something. If you just say so many words, nobody will worth your words. That's why for me, I'm just looking at them like little kids. Not everybody, but most of them. I know you said you want to be respectful, but have some of them upset you to the point that you're like, I want to get in a cage with that guy because he pissed me off? No, if you look how they're talking with each other, I'm very respectful what I'm talking and how I'm saying this. And uh, I'm always, uh, I never, never was uh, saying nothing bad about nobody. My opponents are around spiders. But these guys are ready to say anything just for attention. And sometimes when I see them, and if I didn't like something, what they said before, and I'm saying, listen, now you see me, I'm in front of your face. Why you was talking like that? What's wrong in Twitter or somebody else? They, somebody of them don't even remember that they said or comment anything. Or something, oh, this is just this, this is just that. I understand that their words doesn't have worth. And I can't ask from them like I ask myself. I ask myself and try to judge them from my perspective, how I was raised, when word is word. But these guys doesn't worth their word, how I will push them to speak with me like, like with men like that. Strong words. Uh, last thing for me, big moment here. You've been waiting for it. What type of fight do you think we see? Is this going to be a battle? Is it, do you think he's going to push you? Or do you think this is a fight you can go dominate, make a statement? What, what do we see here? No one knows how fight will go. No one knows. Do you, was, you was thinking that I will do Cal Slicer to Jack Hermanson? No. Does anybody thought that I will do something like that to anybody? No. no. Especially Jack Hermanson. What about Dakas fight, where I was huge underdog? You remember? What about Phil Hoss, where I was also under submission and uh, I let him go in after knockout? Nobody knows what can happen. I always say, may destiny happen. What destiny it will be. That's all. Hey, Roman. Um, so you're... Main event on Saturday, Marab is fighting for a number one contender fight February. Ely is fighting for the title. Is this going to be a big year for Georgia? It's already a big year for Georgia. It's every year is big for us. We are a very small country, uh, population three and five million probably, and with a lot of problems. I'm not a guy who, because of his country, he will say, oh, my country is perfect, our country is bad. We have a lot of problems happening. And I want to be example, and we are probably example, that you can reach things even from our countries and such a big things. And uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, we are five from Georgia, and four from us are top ten guys. And I'm sure also Guram deserves to be there. But it's uh, a little bit things are happening with him. But he deserves, he is, he's a really good fighter. So we are already uh, living good life, uh, showing good example to our country and uh, I'm sure February also will bring a lot of happiness to them and I hope and I'm sure we will have new champion from Georgia. Obviously I'm pretty sure you probably want to be the first <clears throat> Georgian champion but is it going to be make you happy to see if Ilya wins that forever for him to be the first one? Of course, of course. He deserved it. He did, uh, he's a great fighter. He's he have good striking very good, amazing wrestling, jiu-jitsu, jiu jiu very strong guy. So stylistically, it's a very interesting fight for me. And uh, I'm sure that he will win this fight. And let's not forget about Merab. Merab deserved to be a champion a long time ago, a long time than anybody else. And um, I hope after this fight he will get his title shot. I want your thoughts on the uh, middleweight title fight at uh, UFC 297. Who, obviously, you've trained with Sean. Yes. Did you have him winning the fight? Uh, it's a bad question. <laughs> you know why? Cool. Because I didn't watch the, this fight. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, I think uh, a lot of people are saying that Sean won the fight. Uh, I also think that uh, uh, when I watch the main moments, let's say like that, I think uh, you need to do more to be a champion um, for other guy, for the places. And... Uh, it is how it is. You know, you vision a little bit. I mean, if you go out there, knock out Nazardine, like, do you put yourself in a, in a position where, you know, maybe one more fight and you fight for the title? If you remember how Sean got his title shot, he fought Nasruddin after he fought some guy out of uh, top 15, and he got title shot. That's why. I don't like to make like predictions and conversations like this. 
will be what will be. I'm ready for anything. That's all. The, this is organization. You, and you know, rankings nowadays, I think, doesn't do nothing. Look, Hamzat, why he's in top 15? Why, wh who he win from 185? Why he need to be here? And uh, a lot of others say to how they move sometimes guys up and down. That's why I don't think ranking shows anything. There is organization UFC and uh, UFC will decide what they want to see, what fight will sell more, better or less. And that's more important probably. Do you do you personally see this fight as like a number one contender fight or like just like a, or a contender fight? What do you want me to say? Big big words and to say yes is number one contender the fight? No, I'm not that guy. I'm sure here will be somebody who will start conversation talking like that. But it's a good, interesting fight, and uh, I think after this fight we can get uh, higher um, top five opponent. Definitely, we deserve. And uh, let's see what will happen. Nobody knows. Thank you. Thank you very much.